Hey, what's up everybody? We're going to go ahead and do a reassembly video on this iPhone 6S charge port. Uh, so we have our cable here. We're going to go ahead and just line it back up. Now it's a little bit easier to make sure you put the 3.5mm headphone jack in first. And then kind of line up all the additional slots here. Uh, the two or three most important things you do is uh, make sure the microphones are in place and that the charge port screw holes are kind of lined up. So the microphone can be a little bit tricky. Uh, normally it's got a little bit of adhesive still on it, so you can just reapply it. Or if you're using a new charge port, sorry my head's getting in the way there. If you get a new charge port, it should still have the adhesive um, underneath the uh, wrapper that you kind of pull off. So make sure those are all put back on. There's little tiny pins where they sit on top of the grommets. So make sure that those are in place. And then you can go ahead and start putting the screws back in. Starting with the headphone jack first is probably the easiest way to start. And just kind of work your way across the bottom here. Now there's a little rubber grommet that goes right above the microphone. One side will have just two kind of cutouts. One side will have three, two holes, and then one kind of milled out. Uh, you want to put the side with the three indentations of the three holes up. And then go ahead and put your screw in it. And that kind of holds the microphone in place. Perfect. We can go ahead and continue putting the screws in. Um, starting with the smaller ones for the charge port, just make sure that the metal portions of the charge port cable um, are being screwed in properly. Then just work your way around the charge port. We'll go ahead and put the screw in the upper left hand corner. You can actually leave the screw out of the upper right hand corner of the charge port. You can put it in. We'll just have to remove it if you do insert it to put in the wire cable ground connector. Uh, it's not the end of the world, and I'll actually do that here in just a few seconds as well. We'll go ahead and put the remaining two screws in down here for the charge port. I can get it to stick to my screwdriver here. <laughs> Sometimes the little ones are the most tricky. There we go, we go ahead and got it in. All right, I'm just gonna push down this cable, make sure that it's adhered back into the uh, back of the phone here. We may have to use a spudger just to kind of squish it down, uh, make sure it gets re-adhered. We want it to line up properly with the screw hole uh, that's cut out around. Uh, there's the little two brass connectors here where the loudspeaker is gonna make contact, and I'll show you that in just a few seconds. Uh, we're just gonna see if we can't get this uh, lined in properly. So we're gonna just go ahead and insert it and lay it down. We need to make sure the ribbon cable uh, is not underneath it. It's going to wrap over the top of it. And we have this wire cable here uh, that we need it to go in between the logic board and the loudspeaker, but not underneath it. We don't want it to pull up, so it just needs to be put in between the two. This part can be a little bit tricky. Uh, so we want it to make sure that it's nice and snug that's going to line up with all the screw holes because, like I was saying, there's two connectors on the back of the loudspeaker that need to make contact to this ribbon cable uh, for your loudspeaker to work. It'll kind of feel like it wants to come up a little bit when you press on it, kind of like a spring. And that is because of those two contact points. You see them just right here. You want to make sure those are going to line up with the two brass contacts on the actual ribbon cable itself. So we can line up the cable first, then insert the loudspeaker push down and then press it down towards the bottom. It needs to actually fit into a little grommet hole at the bottom of the phone. Perfect. Now that we have that done, we may actually need to go ahead and take that screw out we put in that's holding the ground cable for this uh, wire. We're going to go ahead and put the little clamp, the little C-ring metal portion other cable back over the loudspeaker. We'll take up that top screw out of the charge port and put the ground portion of the cable back in. This fits in right here. Put that screw back in. Pull the little flap back and screw in the screw for the loudspeaker portion as well. And then put the tape down that was there. Then 
There's a screw that goes to the right. I'll go ahead and insert that as well. Make sure that ribbon cable or that wire cable is in there nice and snug and that this little wire C-clip here is down. We're going to go ahead and just reattach this wire cable to the logic board as well. It goes right below the battery. It can be a little tricky to press on, so using a tool at this point might be helpful. And you may have to pick it up and mess with it a little bit to get it on there. Remember, you don't want to be too rough with it. It'll snap on just like a button on a pair of jeans. All right, now we have that done. We can go ahead and put in our screw here as well that holds in this little wire connector. And sometimes the loudspeaker magnet will want to pull it off of your screwdriver. There we go. We'll go ahead and insert it here real fast. Perfect, there we go. Making pretty good progress here. Go ahead and put our screw in the upper right hand corner so we can put that cable down. Now we have our Taptic engine to go in next. And this is not hard to put in um, correctly. The, the screw holes won't line up if you put it in the wrong direction. So make sure the screw holes line up and you should be set. Go ahead and put both screws into this as well. Perfect. We can go ahead and connect our ribbon cables up here at the top for the battery and for the loudspeaker. Now a lot of people say don't connect the battery until you have your screen attached and you're putting everything back together. Honestly, I've never had a problem. Put our shield cover on. Put both of the screws in for this as well. We can go ahead and reattach our screen now. All right, so here we have our screen. We can go ahead and put the three ribbon cables back in. And now you want to be gentle with these, but you want to make sure they snap in securely. So uh, you don't want to press them on extremely hard to start with. Make sure they snap in first, and then you can press in them in nice and snug. We're going to do that with all three cables here. And if you look at the back of the cable where the connector is, it may not be exactly in the center of the cable. Uh, so to snap them on, it's a little bit easier. It's easier just to make sure you know exactly where it's going to clip into the cable. You may just have to press them down a couple times. Now once they're on there, just give them a good solid push. Make sure that they're all nice and tight. Go ahead and put our shield on. And then if you need to, uh, you can use your pry tool as kind of a lever to hold the screen up. So you can put the screw back onto your screwdriver and get started on that first one. The first screw is always the trickiest in putting these back together. All right, first one's in. It's not extremely tight. You can still move it around a little bit, center those screw holes back up. We'll go ahead and put the remaining three screws in. Try not to let the screen uh, fold back out of the 90 degree position. We don't want to damage those cables at all. Fourth screw is in. Then we'll just go back and just give this. First, we put in a little snug there. All right, we can go ahead and put our screen on now. So, to do this, we're just going to pull it down slightly and then press it up and in to the top of the phone. Once everything's lined up the top, you can just work your way down the sides a little bit on each side at a time and snap the screen back in. Make sure that it's in all the way. So, just run your fingers down the sides. Don't be extremely forceful, just give it. Uh, a little bit of a push. Let's go ahead and make sure the phone's going to power on. Perfect. Go ahead and put the screws in the bottom. Now, if you wanted to at this point, you could go ahead and test everything. You could test your mic. You could test the charge port, make sure everything's functioning properly before you put it all back together. Uh, you could actually do that with the cable uh, just once you get everything back in before you put uh, all of the screen screws back in as well. 
Uh, but I've done this a thousand times, so I know it's going to function properly for us. If you have any questions, throw those down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. If you want to see future repair videos, go ahead and subscribe. I'll toss out a couple a month. If you found the video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. And as always, I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.